Hello, and welcome to the second episode of the session authentication using Svelte Kit tutorial. In the previous video, we created the signup logic for our app. In this episode, we'll create the login logic. If you haven't followed through with the last video, I'll link it up into the cards. Now let's see what we'll build today. If we click on the login link and we try to log into an account that doesn't exist, you can see that it says user not found. So we're going to have to go back and sign up and create a new email and log in using the information that we create. So once we press sign up and we go to the login page, we enter those same details. We'll get redirected successfully to the main page. Now, if we go to the storage, you can see that the session ID cookie is equal to the value we logged in the VS Code console. So let's jump straight into the code. So I'm going to be picking up where I left off in the last video. You should see a card pop up in the screen in the last video if you haven't followed through. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the auth.ts file we created last video. And you should see four functions. And below these functions, we're going to create a new one. So we're just going to create one new function called export function create session by email. And we'll take in an email as a string and a password as a string. And we could copy the validation for the create user function and paste it here. Next, we're going to see the users. So we say const current users is equal to get users store. And we see if there is a user that exists. So we say const users is equal to current users dot find user. And we say return user dot email is equal to email. And user dot password is equal to password. Next, if the user, if there is no duplicate user that is found, we say const user with same email. So we double check to make sure that there is no other user with the same email. So we try to find it and we say user user dot email is equal to email. And we say if the user, if we found the user with the same email, we throw a new, we throw an error and we say password is invalid. Because in this case, they inputted the right email, but they put the wrong password. Otherwise, we say throw new error, user not found. And then we just return create session by ID user found dot ID. And that's it. So let's close this file and in the auth folder, create a new folder called login. And at first we'll create a file called plus page dot server dot TS. And this file is so similar to the signup file to the signup plus page dot server dot TS file that we could just copy it and paste. So we just say NPM run dev. And once you give it a moment, all the squiggly lines should be gone. So instead of the create user function, we say create session by email. And that's basically it. So we close this file and we close this one and we create another file called plus page dot server. I mean, plus page dot svel. And then it is so similar that we could do the same thing. Just copy and paste. What we're going to do is just change this up, log in, and we're going to change the URL to log in. Because if we don't change the URL, it'll basically send the form to this action instead of this action. Oh, and we'll also change the text in the button. So we say log in exclamation. And 
if we open the dev server, you should see two links. The sign up page works. And let's create an account. But at first, before we create an account, let's just test the login page. So you test at email.com and we say an eight character password. When we try to log in, it says user not found. Or if you put a password that doesn't have eight characters, password must be eight characters in length. So we go back to the sign up page and we say test at email.com, test, test, and we sign up. Then we go log in. You should see that if we log in successfully, that the session array, that our session for the same user ID should change. So if we inspect the element, you can see that if we go to storage cookies, and you can see that our value for the session ID is equal to the new ID for our session. But if we log in again, we say test at email.com test test and we refresh you can see that the first six letters are not the same and the first six letters are not the same thank you for watching and if you found my video valuable like subscribe and share it and stay tuned for the next video